Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's question is which is not characteristic of the virus? And before I will show you the correct answer, let me show you this picture. And on this picture you see four types of viruses uh, depending on their uh, shape. So we have uh, polyhedral virus, helical virus, complex virus that consist of many different parts and spherical. And if you think that uh, nanomachines or nanorobots would look something like uh, on this picture, you are very uh, mistaken because uh, nanomachines or nanorobots would look like viruses. We can uh, actually have here very complex structures as you see no less complex uh, if we compare with this picture and we can program uh, every uh, structure here we can program how this virus would be assembled and of course we also can program function of the virus and its specificity uh, because all the viruses are uh, highly specific for certain tissues for certain, they can uh, only infect certain uh, species and in those species these viruses are highly specific to certain tissues so can infect only uh, tissues that have uh, certain protein or carbohydrate structures on the surface of the cells to which these viruses would attach and another mistake on this picture as you see this uh, nanorobot inject uh, something in the red blood cell and actually this doesn't make sense at all because uh, if we want to change how uh, the cell uh, behaves, works, uh, what products it's uh, produced and metabolized, it doesn't make sense to inject anything in red blood cells because red blood cells are the only cells in our organism that doesn't have nucleus and also doesn't have DNA with instructions how the cell have to function. That's why the cells don't live long, just few weeks and we have to uh, replenish them all the time. And by the way, if you didn't know, red blood cells are the most abundant cells in our organism. Uh, these cells make about 80% of uh, all the cells that uh, make our body. Those uh, these cells are very very small and uh, probably as you know uh, number of bacteria in our guts uh, about 10 times exceeds the number of the cells in our organism. So this is just interesting facts to know and uh, once again red blood cells uh, just make a few percent of body weight but would make about 80-70% of total cells of our organism. And now let's talk about uh, these four types of viruses. Uh, viruses can be uh, DNA based, so DNA based and can be RNA based. Uh, viruses can be uh, double-stranded, single-stranded. RNA viruses also can be double-stranded and single-stranded. And those viruses that is single-stranded can be positive and negative. Positive and negative here too. So which one would be positive? Positive would be those viruses, for example, RNA viruses, that uh, could be right away translated into protein. So this RNA virus would represent a messenger RNA and would be recognized by the cell machinery as messenger RNA. And those viruses that uh, would have a negative uh, strength, uh, these viruses, RNA viruses, first have to make a positive uh, strand of the DNA so became uh, double-stranded first so uh, 
positive strand would be used as messenger RNA. And the same is true for uh, DNA viruses that can be, once again, double-stranded and single-stranded and single-stranded virus, which would be positive. Basically, that means that DNA sequence here would be the same as a sequence of the messenger RNA, of course, with one exception, that in DNA, uracil would be replaced uh, with, or substituted with thymine. So, uh, basically, once again, uh, positive uh, DNA single-stranded viruses uh, have the same sequence as uh, messenger RNA. And negative single-stranded DNA viruses would represent uh, DNA that is going to be complementary to the coding uh, strand uh, of the DNA, or we can call such uh, uh, strand, single-stranded uh, DNA viruses, that they have uh, one strand that is non-coding, or we also can say that this uh, strand of the DNA would be template strand of the DNA. Now let's return to our answers. So once again, which is not characteristics uh, of the viruses. Answer A, viruses contain DNA or RNA, but never both, and this is true, true answer. Uh, answer B, viruses are obligate intracellular parasites, and this is also true. Those uh, viruses can exist outside the cell, but viruses cannot replicate outside the cell. So we can consider viruses, particles, uh, just like shown here on this picture, to be uh, variants or variants that uh, exist in this form only outside the cell. And uh, some of them can exist only for a few minutes, some of them can exist only for a few hours outside the cell, and some of them uh, under certain circumstances, can exist for hundreds, thousands, and even millions of years until they will get into the uh, favorable environment in which they can replicate, meaning in the uh, cell that is uh, specific for these viruses. So, uh, answer C, viruses can infect bacteria, protozoa, fungi, uh, algae, uh, plants and animals, and this is also a uh, correct answer. Uh, viruses can infect any type of organism uh, on our planet. Answer D. Viruses exhibit high specificity for their uh, respective host, and this is very true. So we cannot get uh, viruses uh, from plants or from other animals with uh, some exception that is very few. So now we have the only one answer left. Viruses are active both inside and outside of the host cells and this is not true because this answer contradicts uh, answer B. Viruses are obligate intracellular parasites. So this is going to be our choice today. and. This is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. Share this video with your classmates. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.